Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Public Cloud Design Tips and Tricks. In this channel, we generally discuss about public cloud design problem statements and their related solution. Today, we are going to discuss about Azure Virtual Machine skill set. What is the problem statement? The problem statement is, in public cloud era, how to enable your ES based design to scale efficiently based on demand. Today, we are going to discuss about Microsoft. That means ES based design means we can expect it's a virtual machine design architecture. How can you scale efficiently when there is a change in demand? So what is scaling capabilities? Let's try to understand. It is the ability to maintain the efficiency of a system or software as demand changes and technology evolves. You can think about this e-commerce portal. When there is less number of requests, the e-commerce portal is stable enough. But when there is a change in request, there is an increase in request, in that case, the e-commerce portal also needs to scale in or scale out properly so that it can cater the number of requests efficiently by the customer. So for that, how can it be done? So it is the capabilities known as auto scaling where the demand changes and the provisioning capacity also will change. So if you think about this e-commerce portal has been designed by a virtual machine or a set of virtual machines. Okay, and there is an increase in number of requests. So it's a Black Friday sale and there is a huge increase in number of requests. Then how your virtual machine will scale properly so that the request can be catered properly. That is where the auto scaling is coming to picture. That means if you have the virtual machine scale sets properly configured, in that case, if the number of requests will increase and your virtual machine uh, rules, basically you will define the set of rules. Based on that, your virtual machine will be able to scale out efficiently. That means it can scale up to 1000 number of instances to cater the request. And when there is a decrease in the request, then your virtual machine should be able to scale down. So that is what the capabilities of virtual machine skill sets. So based on the uh, configuration rule or based on the rules that you are going to define in the skill set, based on that, it can increase or decrease. And these rules can be defined as different metrics. That means CPU utilization, memory utilization, or number of requests. Based on that, you can define that. So that is what known as virtual machine skill sets. Now, the point is, why VM skill sets? To maintain a consistent configuration across your environment. So if you think about, you have to increase number of instances, and it is a ES based in instances. That means you have to make sure all the instances should have same configuration. Second, the VM size, this configuration, application installation should match across all your virtual machine. Otherwise, you know, it, it is not a pass services like app services and all where the configuration will be taken care by Microsoft. As it is a ES based, uh, uh, you know, uh, architecture and based on the shared responsibility model, you have to make sure this configuration should be efficiently defined. And that is where virtual machine scale set will help. And then all the VM instances are created from the same base OS image and configuration. For all these capabilities, VM skill set is the best solution where you can realize all these capabilities to increase your number of instances and to cater your number of requests which is coming to your system. The same applies also if there is a uh, you know drop in number of requests, then also your virtual machine should be able to drop those instances so that your cost efficiency will be proper. Now, another thing. If you have lot of instances, then the most important part is load balancing. How your request is going to cater to the respective instances when there is an increased number of requests. So BM skill set supports two uh, in, uh, you know, load balancer. One is layer 4, which is a standard load balancer for traffic distribution. Another is layer 7 application gateway where you can realize TLS domination and traffic distribution. So both the load balancers are currently supported by the BM skill set capabilities. Now let's think about a simple example, which I uh, derived it from a medium uh, post. So I can see when a request is coming to the load balancer, the load balancer will route the traffic to the VM skill sets. And based on the available instance where your uh, CPU utilization or the instance is capable of catering the request, it will route it efficiently. So it is the load balancer which is taking care of that part. And it is the skill set which knows like how many instances will be needed based on the request. So this is how your, uh, you know, your request will be looked like and at the end VM uh, skill set will be uh, available also into multiple availability set. So you can define to get your, uh, uh, you know, availability high, you can define or you can deploy your VM skill set into multiple availability set. Now, what is the supported is instance count? 
what is the max instance that DM skill set can cover? So, with flexible orchestration, you can scale out or you can, uh, you know, move uh, your uh, your instances up to 1000 instances and also 600 instances for managed images. Now, as I said, like orchestration mode, then we need to understand what is our orchestration mode. Orchestration mode is the heart of virtual machine skill set. So, skill set orchestration modes allow you to have greater control over how virtual machine instances are managed by the skill sets. So that means it is the brain or it is the heart which define how it should be configured. So there are two types of orchestration mode. One is uniform orchestration mode. Second is flexible or orchestration mode. Uniform orchestration mode is identical, uh, identical grouping of virtual machine which guarantees maximum up to 100 plus VM. That means you need 100 instances of max uh, instances of scale out. In that case, you can choose uniform orchestration mode. Flexible orchestration mode is high availability guarantees, which also can be deployed with uh, availability zone with 1000 instances, which is the best solution most of the cases. So based on your demand, you can decide whether you want to go ahead with uniform orchestration mode or flexible orchestration mode. We will create our next video defining the best practices with uniform orchestration and flexible orchestration and also their use cases. Uh, these are all data that I have gather, gathered from Microsoft portal as well as a few from the medium post. So feel free to uh, follow these uh, documents and I, I will share the link in the video description. If you like the video then don't for, forget to share and uh, you know comment in our video. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you.